Hey guys, I'm Cecilia Jr. here, aka Mustache Time, and welcome back to some more Resident Evil Village. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's been a hot while, so I'm trying to remember where I was. I'll just unlock this and see where we progress to. Type Sturm used a cheap turbo turbo prop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge too much power output from the reactor, completely invincible head on. But the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion a complete failure. Jesus. Dad.
stay down. Cigar, please. We got in here. Got some scraps. Oh, come on. It's locked. What the? Side a little vent. Christ! I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. Uh oh. Well, thanks for telling me now. What? What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. I was gonna get involved anyway. You Why us, Chris? You pulled us into this. What the hell is going on? <sighs> Alright, Ethan. Alright. You went to my house, I guess and I you said, hey, you. we're gonna do this now. When I was there... Sure.
Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. And this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. That might not be true. Take a look at this. I can't do anything after beating all the other bad guys. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <sighs> I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator. I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. Take this, and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. The thing I've been doing all game. You can't turn back now. To Hound Wolf Squad, the sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Just this what just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mitomycite, which granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winter's home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she took her, if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on things. It put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things couldn't go off our go the way she had original planned, but in the end she still got what she wanted. Until now, it's time uh, to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and, er, and it's even made from a metal poly polymer uh, composite, 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 which he can't control. Time to turn the tables, Alpha. Even though it looks like any other pieces of metal scrap combined together, it's like, oh, Bokar. If you say so, video game. Yeah, but Chris's, uh, beat in this, his little, uh, Doesn't make any logical sense. Time to hold. Lots well, long hold. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I'm coming, Rose. Alien guys <laughs> or aliens? How many people have like taken from aliens at this point? The list has grown quite exponentially over the years. Get away from her, you ugly bitch! Yeah. <laughs> 
is on my side. Moshi Moshi. Ethan? I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? 
I don't know, but I'm Satan, bros. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. Okay, if you say so. She will so. grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> The Mega My Seed catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours! Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Don't worry. You're deaf. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> Ethan! I've waited so long, but dreams really can come true. This or not, I can't wait to true child Let's see what's going to happen now. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. Oh no! Body evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him, and she is not going to get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. Say, hey, got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, it doesn't change anything. 
terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Perfect. Scott, huh? K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. In a while since we fought together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard you turn yourself into me at all. Great! Five shots in the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Hey, Alpha. in there, boys. What the hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. That's probably the Let's go. Let's go.
problem. Over there. 
soon. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the law with the village with the sun from the maker's hand. There's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here.
two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I hit Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. More stupid stuff. Right now, you gotta get really in. They should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. This must be Miranda's lab. Subject, name Salvatore Moreno. Kadoe infinity low, brain functions surprisingly low. The Kadoe Kadao has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish like gills in a swim bladder. Another subject with a regular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control the transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Eva. Subject name Alkina Demaritriscu. Kadu affinity most favorable. Brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal in external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in her in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Note due to her, her, a hereditary blood disease, the subject most ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration pro properties. This effect if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Kyle Heisenberg. Incredibly favorable. He has electrical organs similar to the electric ray. Narc Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. They can therefore uh, therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still unfit to vessel for Eva. Donna Benavito. Favorable. Normal, although several mental illness. Physical, she is no different from a regular human, however, she can secrete a single produce, uh, producing substance with which controls plants infected by the mitomucite. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her kadu among her dolls in order to control them for a, from a distance. An unfit vessel for Ava. Kadao. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Dear Miranda, deep my dearest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would have, I would love nothing more to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you have, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism positively visionary. I knew that with the uh, with that uh, knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my convention never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights I, of intellectual task, talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hope to bring back a single dead person while I aim to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an ex exponential infection. I thought a virus could be more effective. This is why, my dear, I have to leave you. I still have, I still regret never telling you goodbye. 
My apologies for reminiscing, I actually have news that I thought might please you. I've found the key of evolution, the pyogenitor, a virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues, decided to call the virus feature, I call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. Uh, you taught me so much, and for that I am forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswald E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. Yep, so they connected, they had connected it up. It was all Miranda all along. A.K.A. Uh, alien, uh, whatever it's called. When they decided to make it all about the engineers and all that bullshit. It's like you you legit didn't need any of this. But you put it in anyway. Show me your hands! Um Bryce, this is awful. Where is Miranda right now? Rose. Rose. 
It wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... See? Miranda doesn't kill you. Revelations! You mean we didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt. Remember. Remember, I didn't play this game, so whoops. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. That, that, that's awesome. Massacre! No way. Buckner! You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw <laughs> you! As this game is, this is like the most interesting but broken thing about this game. Is that the narr the rate like that narration right there? His dialogue was actually the most decent and the most decently delivered it was throughout the entire video game. So it's like you really you really just waited for the last minute to really try to do anything with the character, and it was all just to try to fix what you did in the first game because like the first game, obviously uh, Resident Evil Seven that is. Um, you know, you had the broken, like, oh, like, how does your character survive all this? And I guess they were that desperate to answer it. But, you know, there's, there was something, there is something kind of fascinating about, like, he is a monster that is, that sort of has these At human last, memories. He wakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You are having a nightmare. Duke, your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see, but to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much, and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. But Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. 
because this guy has no room for the video game. We're here. You see. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Sufficient weapons and items. Your journey nears its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? Your coin. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. guys that's where we're gonna call it for this one if you ended up enjoying this part please feel free to like comment and subscribe also make sure to check out those links in the description while i'll head you over to my discord server the other to my patreon page any donations are greatly appreciated until next time everyone bye bye